right now, first Friday's underway in the crossroads and folks will experience something new this month. It's a way to cut down on crowded streets after 25 year old Aaron Langhofer was killed during the first Friday event in August. Our reporter Andres Gutierrez live in the crossroads with more on this new experience. Andres, what can we expect? Well, Kevin, there are several changes this month. Those food trucks that were once in the heart of this event are right now parked over at the power substation at 18th and Cherry and the art vendors that were once on sidewalks are now being relegated to these alleyways. Do you guys need any help with anything? As a vendor at First Fridays, Kayla Wist is in the crossroads. I'm hoping it doesn't get too much colder. <laughs> Hours before the crowds. Just because it is very competitive. This month, she's in one of the new art alleys. Organizers anticipate the concept between Baltimore and Wyandotte from 18th Street to Southwest Boulevard will help with congestion on streets and sidewalks. So this kind of was a way for us to separate those crowds out a little bit and make it easier for us to uh, have security better. Wist is unsure how the move will impact herself and other vendors. I actually made my own website because of that. I personally am cutting people a lot of deals uh, just to kind of get stuff back out there. Hopefully it'll draw a lot more people in having us kind of localized in one spot. This is Alex Craig's second year to set up shop at First Friday. It's really cool getting to talk to people from around the community and then I get to show off all my stuff that I make and hopefully make a few bucks. He hopes this new concept can help prevent another tragedy. It's horrible. Um, you know, we all got to stay strong, uh, leave your guns at home. <laughs> it's it's a art show, man. Everyone's just coming out to have fun. And now while First Fridays is a year round event, this is the last one taking place outdoors until the springtime rolls around again. Reporting live in the crossroads this evening, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.